with the ball on first and goal. I, I just thought they would run the ball on first down to see what it, you know, all right, let's take a look and see what happens here. Force Tampa Bay to use the timeout. Then do we want to run it again or do we want to throw whatever it might be? Once they threw it on first down, I mean, then it, it doesn't much matter whether you run it or throw it. Brady's going to have time one way or another. So they run off to 16 seconds on that set of downs. And with a minute 41, here goes Tom Brady. Looking for a big shot in the first play, and it's incomplete. Boy, Marcus Williams, it looked like, had a chance to break on that ball. But instead, it falls incomplete, and it's second and ten. Well, he's working to that side. So it looks like Lattimore is one-on-one. -on -one, but Marcus Williams is working to that side. Makes it hard. When that ball goes inside like that, he was worried. He thought, it was inter he thought there was a chance for Williams to make a play on the ball. Which, because of where he was aligned, he actually should have been able to make a play on that ball. And they're fortunate that it just fell incomplete. Wait, nine players within a few yards of the line of scrimmage here on second and ten. They bring it. It's picked up, giving Brady time, and he's intercepted. P.J. Williams still going all the way. He's in. Touchdown, New Orleans. Third turnover of the day from Tom Brady. P.J. Williams takes it back for the touchdown. Well, I know what Tom Brady's expecting. He's expecting Godwin to cross P.J. Williams' face. He's expecting that he will run in front of P.J. Williams and that at worst, it's an incomplete pass. P.J. Williams, he just keys it, and he drives on it pretty quickly. The ball got out in front of Brady a little bit. So they were playing that shell. They they showed it on first down when they took the shot to Evans, and P.J. Williams makes them pay. It's a great job with the takeaways by Dennis Allen in this defense and sealing the victory. Low snap, put down, extra point is there. That is not a sure thing. He's missed one today. But the extra point makes it a nine-point game. Here's P.J. Williams here, and you're going to see what Tom kind of sees with... Godwin running that deep crosser. So as he comes up, man coverage, it's two man. He's thinking that Godwin's going to come across his face. Hard to tell as the quarterback just where exactly that safety is. You know where he is, but is he driving hard on it the way that he was? That's hard sometimes to determine. <laughs> This is the difference for Dennis Allen's group last season in the regular season. They forced Tom Brady and the Bucks into turnovers. Didn't do that in the playoffs. And their season ended. Today they've got three on Halloween. And lead it by nine. Looking to get to within a half game of the Bucks in the division. It's kind of appropriate the, the way that this team has been built. The Saints defensively. And it being, we said it coming into the game, this is a defensive team. It, it's no longer the Drew Brees-led offensive team. And for Dennis Allen's group to be the ones that made the play, this game's not over. But if they are to win this game, it just seems fitting. Short kick, so Darden will bring it. And New Orleans so good. Special teams coverage through the years. Dropping him shy of the 20. You know, the Bucks had turned the ball over three times over the last six games. They've turned it over three times today. And trailed by nine. Going to need a miracle here with a minute 19 down two scores. Yeah, you pointed it out earlier in this game. The turnovers that they had last year in the regular season. And it's why they were 0-2 in those games. There's a look at the takeaways and the points off of it. Tampa Bay unable to come up with any takeaways in this one. So the formula continues to work for Sean out or uh, Sean Payton. Brady pressured right away and sacks. Everybody getting involved there. Tano Passigno was there first. Cam Jordan as well.
Right up the middle, passing yo, Cam Jordan, Davenport. You, know, you look at it now, I know Bruce Arians is thinking the same thing. That's why they're huddled up. That, you know, down nine points, is this really, is this really what we want to see from our 44 year old quarterback? Use their final timeout, minute seven. Tom, well, Tom just looked over to the sidelines. He shook them off. I, I'm not so sure that he, they weren't going to just run out the clock. Huh. And I don't think Tom wants any part of it. Yeah. Second and 19. It's some of it back with Tyler Johnson, but they keep him in bounds. The rookie Paulson Adebo to stop. Out of timeouts. Clock winds inside a minute. On uh, a gain of 11, third down coming. <laughs> to the sideline and drop. It was Johnson again. Would have been a first down. Instead, fourth down. Coming up next is the OT presented by Tubi. Last chance for the Bucks trying to keep hopes alive in a game where the turnover has been the great equalizer. Well, this certainly tightens things up in the NFC South. This was a game that New Orleans really needed to have for an early season game within the division. On fourth down, Brady sacked one more time. Quan Alexander against his old team ends the night for the Saints 36 27. These pass rushers, when you get in this situation, <laughs> they're looking to get to their stats. They get to Tom Brady a couple times there on the last few plays, but. Yeah, you, I mean, you look at it, the the Saints, I mean, we talked about Tampa Bay, all the penalties that they had, the three turnovers, and then New Orleans just with two penalties and didn't turn the ball over once. Yeah. So that right there is, uh, and, and yet Tampa Bay almost, they had a chance to still win the game, even with all that being said. But that's how Jameis Winston and Trevor Simeon beat Tom Brady. Turnovers and those penalties and a 36-27 win for Sean Payton and the New Orleans Saints. They're sixth in a row in the regular season against Tampa Bay. Third consecutive win for Sean Payton Saints. Now five and two. Bucks fall to six and two. We'll be back to wrap things up after this.